At my direction, the United States Air Force is moving forward with the world's first sixth-generation fighter jet. Number six, sixth generation. Uh, nothing in the world comes even close to it. Those who are familiar with fighter jets that tear through the clouds know that the F-22 Raptor has been the undisputed king of the skies for two decades now. Undefeated, unmatched, and untouchable, it is one of America's legendary jet fighters. Well, that is until the unthinkable happened. What do we mean? Well, there seemed to be a new sheriff in town as the F-47 made the Raptor look like a World War II relic that was flying in the age of AI and quantum stealth. Sure, Congress is doing all it can to keep the F-22 alive, but we all know that everyone from those in the Pentagon to those in the Air Force's Advanced Programs Division know that the day of the Raptor is coming to an end. What's even more daunting for the Raptor is that its replacement isn't just a simple upgrade. Indeed, it may prove to be the craft that could totally rewrite how we think about air combat. So buckle up, guys. You are about to take a look at the fighter jet that could render an American legend obsolete. Type future in the comments, because what's coming next will redefine air superiority forever. F-22's Legendary Legacy You guys might not understand what is happening if you didn't know how legendary the F-22 is. Looking through the history books, you'll find that it entered into service in 2005, and since then, it has never lost a single air-to-air -air engagement in its 20-year history. That is an astonishing 14-to-0 kill ratio, an undefeated record that no other fighter jet in recorded history can boast. Thanks to its stealth, its agility, and its lethal accuracy, it is clear that it was built to dominate the skies. As amazing as this fighter jet proves itself to be, it does have a bit of a stain in its reputation, thanks to the antics of politicians and the missed opportunity. You see, back in 2009, then-President Barack Obama made the controversial decision to halt the production of the F-22 at 187 aircrafts, because to them, the Cold War was over. Furthermore, the F-35 was currently in development, and as such, the U.S. didn't feel like they needed hundreds of Raptors in the skies. This has proved to be something of a faux pas, as many defense experts have considered this to be the wrong move. Against an additional $1.75 billion to buy F-22 fighter jets that military experts and members of both parties say we do not need. At a time when we're fighting two wars and facing a serious deficit, this would have been an inexcusable waste of money. Every dollar of waste in our defense budget is a dollar we can't spend to support our troops. For starters, it is quite expensive to maintain the Raptors that are already in the fleet. Apparently, each flight costs about $70,000. This makes it more expensive to fly than the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, which is one of the most advanced and mysterious aircraft ever built. As if that isn't bad enough, the F-22's stealth coating demands a lot of careful maintenance as well. Add the fact that this system that was designed in the 90s cannot keep up with modern-day warfare. Unfortunately, it seems as though the F-22 has been phased out by the sands of time. Despite this, the Congress has tried to step in by doing all it can to extend the F-22 service through 2027. They just cannot take the loss when it comes to their defense contracts. Furthermore, nostalgia seems to play a role when it comes to the Raptor. As such, you may find that political pressure might be playing a role in keeping the F-22 in the air. Comment below if you think stopping F-22 production was America's biggest mistake. F-47, the revolutionary breakthrough. Well, it looks as though things are about to change thanks to the F-47, an aircraft whose specs will leave your mind blown. Let's start off with its range. When we look back a bit, we'll find that the F-22's combat radius is about 590 nautical miles. On the other hand, the F-47 has a combat radius over 1,000 miles, almost double of the Raptor's capabilities. This is massive, especially as we are living in a world where China's anti-access missile zones cover the Pacific. Another fascinating capability found in the F-47 is its stealth, Apparently, the F-22 was almost invisible to data when it first came out in 2005. However, the technology has advanced, and as such, those days of nearly invisible stealth are over for the Raptor. On the other hand, 
the F-47 sixth-generation stealth profile was built to absorb, deflect, and even mimic background radiation. Thanks to this, the F-47 is barely visible to modern radar systems. Apparently, the F-47 can reach speeds of Mach 2 plus super cruise, and that is without afterburners. This is amazing because this means that it is able to sustain hypersonic chase speeds without burning through a ton of fuel or revealing its location due to the afterburner heat plume it releases as it jets through the air. Let's not forget to talk about the intelligence of the F-47. Turns out that the F-47 is more than an aircraft. It can actually be considered to be a command node in the sky. When it is time to operate it, you will find that one pilot with the assistance of advanced AI will be able to control multiple autonomous drone wingmen in real time. Referred to as collaborative combat aircraft, these drone companions are truly the stuff of sci-fi movies as they can scout ahead for the pilot, jam enemy radar, and engage targets on their own. This is far from the F-22 capabilities as it fights on its own. To take this up a notch a little, you may find that the F-47 is built with open architecture. This means that its hardware and its software can be upgraded over the next five decades. This is massive when compared to the Raptor and how it's stuck in the 90s when it comes to its design. The really weird part of all of this is that the F-47 is cheaper than the F-22 when it comes to operation. Lower maintenance hours, modular components, and AI-assisted diagnostics just makes it easier to operate. Again, this might sound like the stuff of fiction, but no. Open your eyes and see that you are looking at the new reality of America's Air Force. Type future if you think the F-47 sounds too advanced to be real. Head-to-head -head technical showdown. Range. As we hinted at, the 1,000 combat radius of the F-47 not only trumps that of the F-22, but it also proves itself to be the long sight solution to the Pacific problem. While the F-22 was built for European and short-range intercepts, the F-47 has more endurance as it can take off from somewhere like Guam, hit its targets in faraway Russia before returning without any need to refuel. That is massive, isn't it? Weapons. When compared to one another, the F-22 is easily outmatched by the F-47. That said, the F-22's arsenal is truly impressive. After all, it comes with short-range missiles and JDAM bombs within the fixed internal bay. On the other hand, the F-47's adaptive weapon bays can expand or contract mid-flight. That way, it can accommodate different payloads ranging from hypersonic missiles to swarm drones. Stealth. As we mentioned beforehand, the F-22 comes with radar-absorbent coatings that it uses to deflect radar waves. Its angular shape also helps it evade those that may be looking for it with its radar. However, these outdated measures are no match to the F-47's adaptive materials that are capable of shifting their electromagnetic signature in real time. So much so that it is capable of fooling quantum radars. Truly spectacular. Electronic Warfare The sad part of the F-22's electronic warfare is that while its EW suite was advanced back then, in 2005, the same cannot be said today, especially when it is compared with the EW that is built into the F-47. Built to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum, the F-47 EW is capable of hacking or jamming entire radar networks while keeping itself invisible. Maintenance We've also hinted at this earlier on. The F-22's readiness radar is believed to hover around 50 to 60 percent. This pales in comparison to the F-47's AI-assisted diagnostics and modular design, which is somewhere around the 85 to 90 percent operational availability. Uh, it's been going on for a long time. Very, very tough competition, but this plane is, is produced numbers that nobody's ever seen before. The F-47 will be the most advanced, most capable, most lethal aircraft ever built. An experimental version of the plane has secretly been flying for almost five years, and we're confident that it massively overpowers the capabilities of any other nation. The transition strategy. With all these factors in mind, the only thing that comes to mind at this point is how to retire the F-22 appropriately. Let's just think about it this way. The Block 20 models, which just happen to be the oldest F-22s out there, are just too expensive to upgrade. 
The specs such as the avionics, the wiring, and the structure just cannot be integrated with modern technology. With that in mind, the only option is to phase the fighter jet out so that more resources could be made available for the F-47 rollout. As straightforward as this may seem, such factors seem to go over the heads of some of the people occupying office in Congress. Some of the lawmakers that we have up there believe that the Raptor is a symbol of America till this day, and as such, they do not see the need to retire it. That said, there are some that are looking to the future, and they can only see the F-47 in it. That said, there are still some plans to evolve. Right now, veteran Raptor pilots are making the transition to become F-47 training cadres. This means that they will learn how to coordinate AI systems and command drone squadrons. Thanks to their experience with other aircrafts in the past, they will be able to have an advantage when they combine said experience with data analytics and network warfare. Tuh. That isn't all, though. Today, you'll find that even the air bases are going through some transformation. Right now, hangars are being built for modular maintenance, data hubs, and drone storage. This proves to be a total reconfiguration that will be fit for sixth generation operation. If everything goes well, the first operational F-47 squadrons are projected for late 2028. At the same time, there is every chance that only a handful of F-22s will remain in service through the early years of the 2030s. Strategic Game Changer With that in mind, the impact of the F-47 goes far beyond the replacement of the F-22 Raptor. When it comes to the Pacific, the range and the autonomy of the F-47 will ultimately render China's anti-access slash area denial strategy useless. The long-range missiles and radar nets will also be useless as it can no longer keep American jets away. Now that the American jets can strike from thousands of miles away while being unseen, the F-47 seems to be one of the most powerful jets in existence today. Understandably, we can see why the F-47 will feature very well when it comes to NATO. Indeed, it may prove to be the centerpiece of the new Allied attempts at air dominance. With that in mind, those that rival NATO and ultimately the US, it looks like the dynamics have changed somewhat permanently. Faster, smarter, stealthier, and capable of operating with or without human pilots, the F-47 proves to be much more than an aircraft. It is indeed an ecosystem of connected warfare that cannot be matched by any other nation in the world. All in all, we must close up by stating that the F-22 Raptor could be considered to be the greatest fighter jet of its generation. Truth be told, it actually reshaped air combat and what supremacy in the air looked like for several decades. However, as Dewey said, as he dunked on his father and Malcolm in the middle, the future is now, old man. Future's now, old man. The F-47 is set to redefine what it actually means to be the dominant force in the sky. Thanks to this sixth generation fighter jet, we will find that America's air dominance isn't coming to an end. No, it is actually evolving. So hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications because we're just getting started revealing how American innovation stays decades ahead of the world.